everybody, what's up? Uh, this is my response video to the five random question uh, game of tag that's been going on on YouTube. I've been tagged twice now so far, once by the one and only Croc Father, otherwise known as O'Kurt, as well as my friend Michael from Sydney, Australia, also known as uh, CBD55, I think is how you say his screen name. Um, before I get to my five random questions, I thought I'd just come down here today, do another park vlog outside, uh, only because I've been on vacation since the 21st of December, and I start back up at work tomorrow, um, and have a very hard time seeing any type of daylight while I'm working during the day. So I thought I'd come out here, do my responses out here from the park. Um, and also, as a side note, I have many thank yous to give people for all the gifts I received since Christmas uh, between cards and gifts and packages from some of my subscribers and friends so that those videos will be coming it might be a few days might be a week but I haven't forgotten about you guys and thank you very much my red hair my red hair is something that none of my aunts or uncles have when I was born, um, it was much to my mother's surprise that I showed up with some little peach fuzz that turned red very quickly. Um, out of uh, my dad's dad has red hair. None of my aunts and uncles on my dad's side have red hair, but three or four of my cousins do. My sister was almost white blonde when she was born, and now as she gets older, her hair is about my color. But my red hair comes from my grandpa. I'm a spitting image of him on my dad's side. Speaking of families, I am the oldest on my mom's side of 22 grandchildren. I have 22 cousins. Well, actually counting myself, 22. Um, I'm the oldest. My mom is the oldest of 10 kids. And now... There are, I believe, six or seven great-grandchildren or second cousins to me on that side. So when we get together on like Christmas, Christmas Eve, there will be 50 or 60 people by the time you get all my cousins, aunts and uncles, grandparents, and now second cousins. So I come from a very big family. Speaking of family, when I was born, um, up until th the summer before third grade, I lived in a trailer home. Uh, my parents, uh, when they got married, they got married very young. They uh, bought a small trailer home that we lived on my grandparents' lot. They have a huge farm, you know, 40, 80 acres, something like that. So I grew up in a trailer on my grandparents' farm on just a separate you know, few acres of their lot, but we were right between Grandpa and Grandma's house and their barn. Um, I'm the oldest, as I said, of the grandchildren. My mom's the oldest of the kids, so I actually have an uncle three years younger than me. So growing up, when we lived basically with my grandparents, um, I had an uncle who was three, another uncle who was five, an aunt who was seven, Another aunt who was nine, uncle who was 11, et cetera, et cetera. So I've always, even though I only have three kids in my family, um, have feel like I grew up with a much larger family. But yes, I am originally from a trailer. Okay, speaking of my family and where I was, where I grew up. Um, we moved in when I the summer before third grade and we moved into a huge huge farmhouse it's the house to this day that my parents still live in we only moved three miles away from my grandparents but it seemed like you know like we moved into a different country uh, my dad was a construction worker at the time he's been a construction worker his whole life until just the past few years um, but on top of him being a construction worker 80 hours a week, 
we ran a small, what we call hobby farm. We raised beef cattle for extra money. So I grew up doing chores, not only for my grandpa on the weekends, every weekend, my whole life, and then all summer long, but I would do chores and help dad with the farm. We usually had around 70 to 80 head of cattle that we would raise to eventually uh, send off to the meat packing plant. We raised chickens every summer that we would sell. And I remember a couple years raising uh, pigs, which are by far the nastiest animal I've ever come across. Uh, on my grandpa's farm, he was a dairy farmer, so we had dairy cattle growing up. But he also had horses, ponies, pigs, sheep, ducks, geese, pigeons, rabbits, guinea pigs. Um, any kind of animal grandpa had. Grandma, grandpa was a true lover of animals. So I have helped give birth to many a cattle, many a calf. Um, I have seen it all. I've been hands deep in places I shouldn't be between cow crap and animal matter. Um, so quite the distance from where I currently am. Now granted, growing up on a farm, uh, I never traveled a lot as a kid. As I get older, I'm definitely trying to travel more. I've been out of the country technically, well, let's see. I've been to Mexico twice. Once I was in uh, San Diego and went to Mexico for the day, actually to Tijuana for a bachelor party. You can PM me about that one if you'd like. I was in, uh, when I visited a friend in Arizona, a few years ago we did a day trip to Mexico. Um, back in 2001 or 2002, some friends of mine and I did a week, or around a week and a half trip to, uh, to Ireland, which was amazing. And then I also uh, had a layover on the way to Ireland in Birmingham, England. So I've technically, other than the United States, been out of the country three times, or to three different countries, something like that. So those are my five random thoughts about me, a little bit about my life kind of before YouTube, before moving away, before going to college, but about what made me who I am today and I'm so very close to all of those things. So now, part of this tag is to take five other people. So I'm going to tag the following people and you can check them out over there. Mumbai Doug, Lizzie Kitty. 21st Century Cat, Andy Mooseman, and The Frozen Ghost. Because The Frozen Ghost, you need to make more videos. That's all for now. Talk to you guys later. Bye.